Bacteria are tiny living beings, neither plant nor animal. Some, like the bacteria in yogurt, are good for us, but others are deadly. Like the World Health Organization, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control has found that some bacteria no longer respond to antibiotics like they used to. Dr. Laurie Hicks is with the CDC. And we are seeing greater than 2 million episodes of antibiotic resistant infections in people each year in the U.S. alone. And 23,000 of these episodes result in death. If there are messages the CDC wants to get out, one is this. We want doctors to know, first of all, that antibiotic resistance is a big problem. Another is this. We want patients to know that antibiotics don't work for viral infections. Antibiotic resistance already has changed the way medicine is practiced in hospitals like Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. Doctors there are now more cautious about how they use antibiotics, and they constantly review treatment plans to see if patients are getting the right antibiotics and the right dose. Hello. Dr. Trish Pearl is an epidemiologist Thank at so Johns much. Hopkins Medicine. You all of a sudden understand what it was like to practice medicine maybe 50, 70, 80 years ago when there weren't antibiotics. Nearby at the University of Maryland Medical Center, doctors have changed the way they care for patients in the intensive care unit. MRSA is an antibiotic resistant staph infection that spreads easily in a hospital, especially in an intensive care unit, and it can be deadly. Dr. Anthony Harris studied whether having health care workers wear gloves and gowns in intensive care units could reduce the number of infections. Wearing gloves and gowns for all patient contact led to a significant decrease in MRSA acquisition, accounting for about a 40 percent decrease. Dr. Pearl says more money needs to be poured into research so that health officials can understand how these organisms are spread. New drugs need to be developed to take the place of those that no longer work, and patients need to be educated. Resistance commonly develops when people skip medications or, you know, take it one day and not the next, or they don't really think they need it, so they only take half of their course. And that's been particularly problematic with diseases like tuberculosis. Solutions need to be found fast because the World Health Organization warns that antibiotic resistance is a problem so serious that it threatens the achievements of modern medicine. Carol Pearson, VOA News.